I'm so excited. <laughs> I need to take a breath because I just got off work. Update 6, it's bit like... I hear a lot of things are happening with it. I don't know what's happening with it. We're gonna figure that out. I, I've already logged in once just to check to make sure that everything was good. There was a bunch of broken stuff, but I fixed it. I'm on tier four, about to be tier five, which is because, so I, I, I did all the map upgrades offline all the way up to steel production. I unlocked steel, I unlocked coal, but I haven't touched it. I haven't done a thing. Uh, so I'm still on biomass. And so I was building the big man all, all offline and grinding materials, grinding awesome and uh, awesome tickets. I hate biomass burners. I cannot wait to get rid of them. I, I, I cannot wait to just mass dismantle them. It'll be good. I have been waiting for this. I've been waiting to get rid of biomass filters. Uh, filters. Biomass filters sounds disgusting. Burners. Hey, Hobbs. What are you doing, bud? What are you fighting me for? He wanted to be under my desk for some reason. Say hi. He's like, Are you, can you let me down now? I want to sit on your lap. I can see forever. <laughs> so today we're going to do a few things. We are going to begin the industrial age. We're going to do some coal and some steel. Hopefully the coal automation doesn't take too long. I get a bunch of MAM upgrades that I haven't touched. So I want to, I want to go build some stuff of, of that, like equipment. And then check out update six. That's going to be mostly it. I think a bit of exploring, a bit of a uh, bit of everything. So I love this screen already. It's like swampy and like there's, I can't tell if that's like little, little bugs or is that leaves or what, but uh, I don't know. It's looking cool. So I'm going to walk slowly through the base because there's been a few changes. Cat break. Oh God, you already did it. Okay, cat break. Oh, Hobbs is loving on chat. He just gave you guys a nuzzle rub. Cat, cat petting activates my dopamine. Mine too. Cool. So I added, I was grinding all over the place. I was trying to get lots and lots of materials to get ready for the steel age. So we've got this giant, <laughs> dirty horizon of clipping belts and all this kind of ugly crap. I uh, expanded the train, the supply train. Yeah, it only extends out here, but all this stuff is like extra materials because I, I didn't want it to go to waste. All of these like half broken belts are for the awesome, awesome ticket generator, generator, which I, I ended up just putting Caterium in. I have been stockpiling tickets, not very much because I've been using them. Uh, I've also made some progress on the giant man, <laughs> which, um, yeah, it's going well. I haven't gotten to the point where I can start moving the factory into the giant man yet. Uh, because I need his face. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's my life's work, or at least my first satisfactory life's work. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's pretty awesome. I love zoop mode. It, it made it way faster. Oh, I also found a coal node, so I started mining. I've got three supply boxes, or supply storage containers of of coal, which is going to be good to get started. So this is our space elevator. And it's on the top of a platform. It's gonna be his hand holding the platform. And uh, his other hand is gonna hold all the power cables and the train station and like any other transportation nodes. I think you've been watching too much Let's Game It Out. So <laughs> I, I, I don't go too hard like Let's Game It Out, but I do like picking like a creative design and then just going ham on it. Also, somebody told me there was loot in the YouTube comments. They told me there was loot underneath the, the N, which is the giant man's legs. I'm going to check that out, too. Geronimo! Oh, I also... 
Yeah, I ran out of I ran out of parachutes at some point and I didn't notice. I got the zip line, which I forgot to mention. Uh, I like it a lot, but it could use some work. It's not very it's not super easy to use. It would be nicer if you didn't have to jump over the power poles. Yes, correct. That that's like the reason I don't really use it that often. All right, let's uh, do the precarious thing. Somebody told me to make uh, a belt up, which it doesn't work that well because it's not very straight. And I mean, on PC, it's fine, but I was playing on my Steam Deck or with a controller, and it's very hard to control. What if, what if we made the entire map a single cannon? Oh, that would be cool. Whoa. I don't think I've been that close to the Sky Manta. That's cool. I need to jump on him. I need to ride the Sky Manta. Okay, one thing I did want to do is something that a YouTube commenter suggested. And I will name them because, because it was a really good idea. It was Zyron Theo. It's it's a thinky circle. Every time every time I need to think about something, I can sit here in the circle. The Fitness Gram Pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. Ready? Begin. Down. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down, up, five. <laughs> he's so, he's so patient. He doesn't like it when I do this. Like he, if I keep doing it, he'll, he'll like very politely be like, please stop. There's coal plus water a bit northeast. So I do have coal. I have coal right here. And uh, it's filled up three full supply um, containers. So I I just don't know where to put the coal power generator, you know? Maybe I should put it close to the water so that I don't have to run the pipes very long. All right. Power. I am going to just do this very simply. I'm just going to point it at the water. And then the coal needs to come in from here. The ratios, three water extractors, eight coal gens, 120 coal. Thank you. I'm just gonna pull, pull the coal off here. Where do I want it? Right there, I'll point it towards there. All right, with underclocking, two at 50% uses less power than one at 100%. Oh. And this is quick and dirty. And I know that I should be putting a power pole. You know what? I'll just put the power pole now. And it will be a Mark II power pole. Hmm. I love rain effects in games. <sighs> no power. What do you mean no power? Oh, water's not working. That's because I haven't put any biomass in. Are we, we in business? Extracting, extracting, two meters cubed for water. And it's burning. We are in business. And it is filling up. It is pumping faster. Yeah! Alright, I, I think Lapdragon's got a good point. We should make more. Oh, this this water. Or this, this rain, guys. I love rain. Which is a good thing I live in the, the Pacific Northwest. Oop. So rain sounds in games is like perfect. Some of my favorite. 
I've so perfect that I've forgotten what I'm doing. Power water extractor. How do I want to do this? So I'm thinking I don't want to have to <laughs> I I'm trying to get a situation where this can be an igniter of the system when I run out of power for the coal. Like when the coal power system shuts down, it'll be because I spiked it, right? It'll be because I spiked it above my power generation capabilities. So when the coal power shuts down, I want an easy way to start up everything again. So I was thinking, how can I use the biomass generator as an igniter to like kickstart the system again without having to do anything? I don't want to have to connect things together. I don't want to have to like put more biomass in. I just want to come over here, flip a switch, and it'll get the whole system running again. So I, I think I'm getting a little bit too extra. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it alone right now. Yeah, join the pole to the main power bus is like too, that's too much work for me. <laughs> power switches. Yes, that's what I want. I have, uh, I haven't, I haven't unlocked it yet. Ron Hatch, thank you. Appreciate it, Ron. So I will set up a power switch on one of the power poles once I unlock it, and that means I can, I could have two more power poles so that I can, I can stop the power going to the main line from the biomass generator. Then it'll uh, make it so if, all I do is flip the switch, and then I'll flip the generator, and it'll start everything up again. All right, and then. Let's go ahead and delete that, and then we'll do a splitter. And then we'll make it a Mark II. Yes, I know I'll have to make the Mark II, uh, the other belts Mark II, but at least from the storage container, it'll be Mark II. You want to pull the biomass out for now and leave a box with biomass next to the burner. Oh, that's a good idea. That will at least cut the trip. Organization, personal storage box. And we will put, where's the biomass? Here it is. That'll be good. All right, and the pump's get, getting going. And then coal generator three will, will get going. Uh-oh. No. I'm sad. All right. Um, this is where I need to start one at a time, right? Wait. How is that going? Isn't everything shut down right now? How is the pump working? I'm on standby and ev everything else is shut down. I'm not wrong, right? I hooked a coal gen that still has coal. Oh. Oh, and there was a coal, there was a water buffer. Got it. All right, thank you. So coal generator, no connection. Now what does the coal generator say? It's burning fuel. Welcome to fluids troubleshooting. Yeah, seriously. So. I have no idea why these fluids, or that, that pump is working, but that one's not. Uh, is it because, is it because the water's full and I've, I'm over capacity? So it's only going to pump when there's a, a capacity for the buffer? So things should be back online, right? Yeah, that's, that's when I break it, is when I connect it back to the main line. Overclock, underclock them to 45 and they will run one to one. I see. Oh, it saves power because of the spike. Let's do that. Let's do that just for simplicity. I can get complicated later. This is a uh, minimum viable pumping. Uh, underclock to 45, you said? And that's 50. So I want 50 meters cubed. Oh, 50 is internal storage. Consumption's 45. I see, I see. Good, good call, good call. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 45 cubic meters per minute, which is 30, 37%. I'll just copy that. Let's do it again. All right, so I did have a spike that pushed me over. Everything's running, right? No, nothing. 
nothing is running yet. So let's make one more extractor and coal generator. <sighs> this is so exciting. <laughs> I get free power, guys. At least that's that's what we thought until we knew about uh, carbon dioxide or atmospheric carbon or whatever. Log logistics. Hopefully that doesn't need a pump because it's not not too too much higher. No need to delete the belt. You can snap the splitter directly to it. Okay. You could should make a circle with pipe and connect three pumps to it and eight generators. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I guess I could just go for the three to eight ratio. You can't tell me it's too steep. <laughs> and let's see I gotta select it with middle click and then press E nice okay let's get let's get some water pumping in here cat break all right cheer force let's do it he's like what Cat is too chill. Yeah, he 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 loves the he loves hanging out, sitting on on laps. This box is a good way to to, to get him stored in the box. Exactly. Okay, so I just need to connect. Are we in business? I think we're in business. I think we're in business. It's working. It's working. Rattle how far my, my spaghetti plate has become or has come. <laughs> Whale boy. What are you doing up here, man? This is a marvelous vantage point. Are you just pondering? Everything the light touches is yours, huh, bud? <laughs> so the biomass generators are offline, and that's fine. I can dismantle them soon once I make sure that the coal is not gonna you're not gonna die on me. Now that you have coal. You can get stable power, you can just leave the game running and do other things. I cannot wait. I just cannot wait. My solution was just to make so much power you never have to worry about it. And I like that solution, Fred. <laughs> that is my style, 100%. Set and forget, never worry. Okay, so we've got eight. And I just need to connect the last one. Which means that we got 600 megawatts capacity. Everyone celebrate. And everything's on standby, which is okay. Nothing to, nothing to be scared about. Turn it on. Oh, wow. <laughs> Celebrate good times. Come on. Do, 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 do. I probably should make another one. Another one or two for steel production, just so that I don't uh, spike over. So I think I will. And I honestly, I don't know what the belt capacity is or, or um, whether or not I have enough coal and if the coal matches the consumption. But um, I say against better judgment that I'm not going to check and I'm just going to keep on building coal generators. Five minutes later. And some alien protein. Uh oh. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, one of my coal... Several of my coal generators shut down. Alright, I gotta go figure that out. Alright, so... 
Which coal generator is offline? I see the three on the other side are got fine. These two are fine. How come, how come uh, capacity keeps on... Oh, you know what? I think the coal's getting overloaded. I need to find, I need to find a second coal node. How many gens do I got? I got eight, I think, or, or ten. Oh, wait. How many do I have? I think I need another pump. One, two, three, seven, ten. Yeah, I need another pump. Wow, I forgot. Marov warned me. So basically, the whole time that I was getting away with not having this generator shut down, that was because I, uh, the water buffer was saving me and, and letting me walk away. So let's turn on the coal generators without connecting to the main grid. We got that water pump. That extra water pump added. So let's just check the buffers on everything. That's fine. Actually, I probably waited too long and now the buffers are... Oh wait, insert fuel? Oh yeah, it's because I put too many splitters off... Uh, yeah, I put too many splitters off of one side. I wonder if Mark II belts will help it get there faster. Let's first turn on the bio burners because they only output power as they need, right? So I'm going to I'm just going to grab a bunch of stacks and that will give me a buffer so that I can turn on the biomass burners and then that will give me some insurance, hopefully, right? If I understand biomass burners what like well enough, it will only burn when uh, when there's a need, right? So it should give me a little bit of burst resilience. And then that will cover me until I get my coal, my, uh, coal all figured out. Remember you dismantled the coal belt to add a splitter for your steel? Look there. I mean, is this slowing it down? Also... Oh, Mark 1. I'm getting rate limited at 60. Ah, oh, frick. How long are you gonna sit on that one, Ron? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Yep, yep, there it is. Mark one. Just flip it up there. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> That's like literal bug in the design. This 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 feels a lot like programming. This is this is where I would have sit I would have sat on this problem for literally like two hours trying to figure it out, and then I would have started debugging at the beginning of the stack and I and I didn't think to do that here. So, I, I said last, or two streams ago, that I need to examine the beginning of the stack every time. Boom. So, Miles before anybody reached. says anything, Logistics can be this is the giant the man. This is, this is not his crotch, that is, that's his well belt line. So this is just power from the beginning of a belt, okay? An it's a belt. It's a utility belt. And it shoots off drop Further pods, alright? <laughs> Just saying. Possible. Why would a man without pants need be a belt? He's got the heaviest pants, Aguila. He's got pants made out of stone. I think he needs a giant belt. <laughs> Hypertubes. Okay, so I need 300 pipes. Let's let's do this one. Oh wait, but I, I need advanced steel production. So minor mark two. Nice. Oh, but it increases the energy cost. Oh, I got a smart splitter. I haven't decided to use it yet. I think that's probably going to be an offline project. Digging your content, don't stop. Thank you. And I won't. I I, I made content for a year and a half that got 10, 10 to 30 views per video, so I am used to this. I mean, I, I don't think it's going to go down that far again, but, you know. I'm doing this because I'm having a lot of fun. I like learning how to edit and get better at editing, and, and I love playing video games, so why not share it, you know? Yeah, Let's Game It Out is insane. I am very, act I'm very happy that, uh, that I was told to do a reaction to him because 
now I'm going to watch his stuff. And, I mean, I got into Satisfactory because of it. Satisfactory has been itching that scrat... Scratching that itch that my brain has for automation and, and convenience and, and all that stuff. So, it has been Satisfactory. <laughs> and I need quartz, so I think it might be time to do some splorin. Yeah, let's do some splorin. I need more hard drives. Um, let's clear out some inventory space. I don't have any rebar. Let's fix that before I go out into the great unknown. I could make a stun rebar. I think I will, just in case there's like a big enemy of some type that I can't kill reasonably. Then I can stun him and run away. Or stun him and do damage to him, because that's probably the next thing I think of. Alright, I had quartz marked, which is straight ahead, so let's just go there. Ow. Oh! This is very cool. Yes, I, I do know about the R... Oh! Okay, I thought every one of those rocks was a speed pig. That scared me for a sec. Thing is, if you wait for them to start picking up speed, then they don't land on their remains so that you can pick them up easier. Water? You can mine water? Oh, can you put uh, water pumps there? I like... I like the um, the mushroom forest or whatever you might call that. The alien forest. Got him. Ow. There's another one. I right, got one off on me. They do a lot less damage than they used to. In your map, you can request a marker be highlighted. It'll put a nice big beam of light. Oh. <gasps> Hard drive. It's zooping time. Oh, I might have to zoop even more. Um, how do I want to bridge this? Eh, I'll make things safe later. Did I bring parachutes? I did not. Oh, I need a gas mask for that hard drive. Well, I never let that stop me yet. Go, 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 go. Repairs needed. 40 megawatts. Okay, that's two biomass generators. Okay. We can do this. Alright, there's one. And two. And three. Get it. Uh what is circuit board? What am I missing? Uh oh. Oh, a hog died here. Nothing. Alright, let's get out of here. <gasps> Doggo! Oh, am I out? I'm out of concrete. That hasn't happened to me in a long time. Don't die, crack. Oh! Okay, okay, I've fought that guy before. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Watch me stun this guy in amazing fashion. He didn't get stunned. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's frozen. <laughs> the AI did get updated, guys. <laughs> We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Um, 
how have I been this past week? Ah, uh, you know, things have been stressful, both at work and in life. So I'm really glad to be able to come here and chill out and relax and have fun. Um, there's a lot of things kind of up in the air, both at work and in life, and I would really like them to just kind of resolve. Some of them I have influence on, some of them I don't. Uh, I need a minor mark too. Uh, quartz. Right there. Uh, I need to find coal. That's... I think I'm gonna build an away-from-home coal grid. <sighs> or not. Oh, 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 wait. 649. Highlight stamp. Alright, let's remove this and add the Ron approved cor uh, map marker. And we will make it regular size and we shall make it medium distance. Hmm. I don't have any concrete, so I can't really get up there. Maybe I'll just make a bio biomass burner for now. All right, so that'll get me, you know, however many crystal quartz or quartz uh, crystals I need. I uh, I can. Hopefully, it's enough to fill a couple stacks. The tracks carry power for trains? That's awesome. I really want trains, guys. I really should have made a truck to get over here, though, because this was a lot of walking. Oh. Oh. Oh, this guy. This guy spits. Oh, he's... Okay, he's a big one. That got him. Oh, I can't get, oh, there it is. Got a stinger remains. Hey, this looks familiar. All right. Well, this has been fun. And it's been so fun that I can't stop playing because I now have a hard drive with which to do the researching of the things. And what we're doing? Uh, I do have smart splitters, yes. I have not used them yet. Um, and smart splitters, as far as I know, they only filter. <gasps> hey, bud. How you doing? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dude. No, why? Why did? How did you find uranium waste? Who? Where are you from? Are you from an alternate save? Like, did you come from? Let's game it out. S ah! Ah! No! No! This is a package from Let's Game It Out. That's what it is. Oh no! I gotta take this away. Ah! Uh, no. Okay. I can't drop it. I can't drop it. Um, how do I do this? Okay. Okay, okay, if I put it in a box, it's good. It's good. It's good in the box. <laughs> you can drop it, it just didn't click correctly. Okay. <laughs> Dude! I'm still giving you a treat, man, but why did you do that? <laughs> Who gave you that uranium waste? I can't stay mad at you. I I have nothing else to say. That was amazing. <laughs>